Hello there and welcome to video number three. This is one, uh, this one is on multiplying some numbers together. Uh, I'm only going to teach you one method how to multiply some numbers together. I can't be bothered to teach you the other methods. You probably know that there are some other methods. This is my favorite one. So this is why I'm going to teach you this one, right? This is the Chinese box method. It might be called Napier's bones, um, but I don't call it that. I call it the Chinese box method. So that's why I've called this video multiplying the Chinese box method. Um, and yeah, some keywords again, times and product. Uh, I've got a method here squidged into this box. You've got draw an appropriately sized box with diagonal lines. It all makes sense when I show you what I'm talking about, all right? This is just a reminder of what to do once you've been taught how to do it, isn't it, the method? So um, in question number one, what you're gonna do is you're gonna calculate um, these numbers together. Calculate them, you're gonna multiply them. There we go. So we're gonna put the uh, appropriately sized box. So to figure out the appropriate size box, what we're going to do is we're going to go one, two, three digits by two digits. We're going to have a, and you could use the squares of this grid, but you, you don't have to. Um, I'm going to try, but probably won't be able to do it very well. One, two, three, one, two. I'm going to try and draw it neatly. One, two, three. You'll see what I'm talking about in a second. It will all appear beautifully when I've drawn it on the squares. Not brilliantly. But there we go. Right, now the diagonal lines are the ones going to go through each of the squares here. So that one goes through there, through there. That one goes through there, through there, through there. And I am drawing it outside the grid on purpose. Okay. Now, because our answer is going to appear in this space here. Five, four, six. Five and four and six. I'm doing this bit. Write the digits of one of the numbers at the top. I'm doing the one that's bigger on top. I always do. You don't have to. Right. Write the digits of the other number on the right hand side of the box. This is the right hand side. And I'm going to do that there for three and nine. And then I'm going to multiply the single digits uh, of this number by this one. And I'm going to split the digits of the answer in the box. So six times three, I, if I know my times tables, it is 18, one and eight. That's what I mean by splitting the digits of the answer in the box, because you've got the diagonal lines that does that automatically for you. Uh, six and nine, six times nine is 54. Okay, four times three is 12. Four times nine is 36. Five times three is 15. And five times nine is 45. So if you know your multiplication tables, you will be fine with this method because all you have to do is single digit by single digit multiplication. Then all you have to do is add the diagonals to get the answer. So this one is only a four. There's four, our answer ends in a four. Um, you're going to add 6 and 8 to get 14, plus 5 is 19. So 9 goes there, and then you carry the 1 on to the next column. Now I'll put that in a little circle there, just to remind me it's not part of my answer. Uh, 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then 12. So 2 there, 1 to carry over, put it in a little bubble. 1, 2, and then 5 um, is 7, plus 4 is 11 and then carry one over there, and we get one plus one, which is two. So the final answer to that question is two, one, two, nine, four. If you watch my first two videos, um, you'll notice I didn't have an answer space. I added an answer space. Uh, there you go. There's the answer to the first question. And that will get you three marks on a GCSE maths paper, which is quite nice, isn't it? Now, in question two, it asks us to work out the product of these two numbers. Now, all that requires you to understand is that product means the result of multiplying the numbers together. And that's going to be the answer. So that's all we have to do is multiply those numbers together. This time it's three digit by three digit. I'm not going to faff around with making the box neat as, neat as possible. I'm just going to write the numbers. So three, five and six, seven, three and eight. I'm going to squidge it in here and it's not going to be neat. It's not going to be tidy, but it's going to work because what I'm doing. And so will you if you practice. So I'm just going to draw diagonals through each of the boxes here. You see we've got a bigger grid because we've got three by three, which is nine squares. Uh, and then do the single digit multiplications again. So 42, 18, six eights are 48, uh, five sevens are 35, and then 15, and then 40, and then 21, nine so i'm putting zero nine there make sure that doesn't look like a six and then three times eight is 24. again add the diagonals so more to add this time uh that looks like a zero that is a zero there just to double check it doesn't look like a six so uh that's 12 carry the one over and then we get two plus that one is three eight 
12, uh, 16, 17, carry the one over. Uh, that's going to be 9, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So we've got two there to two to carry over this time. And then 4, 5, 6, yeah. And then 2. So we get a final answer. The product of these two numbers is 2, 6, 2, 7, 2, 8. So we can multiply any numbers here. All right, this is quite a large um, product, isn't it? Now, in question three, we've got Andy and he's booking a coach for a school trip. Each coach costs £132 and he needs to book 13 coaches. How much will the trip cost? Or how much will the, the travel for the trip cost, I suppose that should say, really? Um, basically, we just have to, again, recognise that we need to multiply this by this. Now, some people would do 13... Um, sorry, 132 plus 132 plus 132, 13 times. Some people do that. That is what multiplication is. But we could just do it quickly using our Chinese box method. So again, I'm not going to line it up because once you get good at it, you don't have to. You just draw your grid and you wouldn't have the squares in the exam paper anyway. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I've done that pretty badly, haven't I? But it, you can see what I'm doing. All right. So two times one is two. Two times three is six. That looks like a seven there. Just make sure it looks like a two. All right. Three times one is three. Three times three is nine. And one times one is one. And one times three is three. So six there. Remember, that's a two. So that's 11. Carry the one over. That's six, seven. That's one. That's nothing. So the trip is going to cost, because it's in context, we've got some money. Uh, one, seven, one, six, one thousand seven hundred and sixteen pounds. Andy has to spend um hopefully of the school's money, not his own money, on booking that trip, large trip. So there you go. There is the Chinese box method for three different types of question. I hope you um, are able to uh, follow that and then practice yourself. The key is practicing yourself. Uh, please click the uh, description, uh, in the link in the description. I always say that wrong. Please click the link in the description uh, for practice questions. There will be three of them very similar to these. And then I'll provide you the answers as well. And a little bit of feedback that tells you if you are able to do it or not. So, um, yes, enjoy doing that and just get better at multiplying some numbers together. Thank you for watching. Uh, like, subscribe and do all that stuff that you need to do. Put some comments. All right. I'd love to read some comments uh, as long as they're not derogatory or horrible. Um, because I'm just trying to help you out, you know, you don't have to watch my videos. Thank you very much. Cheers then. Take care.